Dr. John Hagee, thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Glad to have you with us this morning. Let's begin with the Dixie fire burning near Paradise, where the campfire burned in 2018. The quick moving fire doubled in size yesterday. Could we see a repeat of 2018 here? You know, I don't think those conditions are kind of the same as what we saw in 2018. We don't have that north wind, that Santa Ana component that, that drove that campfire. So really what we're seeing is mostly topography and, and fuel driven winds. So it's eating all those dry fuels, all that dry timber that's been accumulated in that area is really what's driving that fire. So really those conditions aren't, aren't going to be the same that we saw before. Well, we've been talking about this all morning long this weekend, the chance of the Bay Area seeing dry lightning, which sparked last year's huge wildfires. What's your game plan for the weekend? You know, what we're doing is we're bringing in an extra staffing. We're preparing prior to the event. So we're ensuring that we have all of our resources staff that are in position and really watching that in that weather closely and ensuring we know where those star fires have the potential for starting and getting those resources in those areas. And right now there are more than 70 fires burning in the West. How dire is the situation right now? And should we be worried since it's only the beginning of wildfire season? You know, we anticipated this. We saw the lack of rain we saw over the wintertime and understanding that lack of rain was going to result in a very busy fire season. So what we're seeing is what we're expecting. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fires. Um, we hopefully will uh, dodge some of the uh, potential dry lightning that's uh, expected for this weekend. But the reality is all uh, resources out there actively fighting fire and engaged in, in, in doing the things that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is no different than any other summer that we face here in California. Well, we just want to say thank you for joining us on the show.